Hey guys, welcome back for another video. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to enable and use the live text feature, which is Apple's optical character recognition software available with the iOS 15 update. Now, if your live text is not working or not enabled, this video will show you how to do that in just a few minutes. Before we get started, be sure to subscribe to the channel because in the upcoming days, I'm going to upload several videos that show how to fix some of the common issues that come up with the iOS 15 update, as well as how to use some of the latest features. That said, let's get started. So before you try to enable live text, make sure you've got the iOS 15 update, just as I have. If not, be sure to update the iPhone first before you try to enable this feature. I have the iPhone 12 mini here on which I'm going to show you which settings you need to select to enable live text. First, you need to go into the settings icon, scroll all the way down to the camera settings. And within that, you will see an option for live text. Go ahead and enable this option if you haven't already. For me, this was already enabled out of the box after the iOS 15 update. Next, go into the general settings and select language and region. You will once again see the live text option here for me, it's enabled by default. If it's not enabled for you, you need to do that. You also need to note that live text is supported only for seven languages at the moment. So your iPhone language needs to be one of them, which is English, Chinese, French, Italian, German, Portuguese, and Spanish. Once all these settings are set, you can go into your camera. Now, when you point your camera to any surface that has text, like I have this one here, this is a curved surface. I'm gonna test live text recognition on this. When I point the camera to it, I see a box that highlights the area of the text. And I also see a button in the bottom right corner, which is the live text capture feature. Once I click on it, it allows me to select parts of the text or I can even select all. Once I have selected all the text, I just need to hit copy. After selecting and copying the text, Let's go into the notes and try to create a note and see how accurately the text was copied. I have pasted the text and I'm going to hold the bottle right here next to it so you can compare the text that was there on the spray bottle and the text that has been copied. For the most part, it appears to be exactly the same. You can also now copy text from photos that you've clicked on the iPhone by going into the gallery opening up the photo and hitting the live text button. So that's how easy it is to use the live text feature. It's not only available in the gallery and the camera, but also on several supported apps. You can even go into the notes feature, create a new note and select the live text feature from the options and capture a text live. Once again, I'm going to use the same spray bottle and it has read and captured and copied all the text into the note for me. It's a very useful feature and very easy to use and already integrated with some of the most common apps. The other thing to note is that phones older than 2018 that do not have the A12 Bionic chip will not be able to support the live text feature even if they have the iOS 15 update. So if your phone is one of the older phones that does not have the A12 Bionic chip, you won't find the option to enable live text. Let me know your experience of using live text in the comments below. Hope you found this video helpful. Do subscribe to the channel and thank you for watching.